Welcome to Live at the Blue Box, everybody. I don't know if you knew you were here for this. Uh, we do live podcasts here every Saturday night, and you happen to be here for this one. Yes, we had a couple of Thursdays. Yes, Jenny. Uh, so we're going to start out tonight like we do every other Saturday night. We're doing a show called This Week in Geek, uh, where we talk about the geek news from the week. And if we miss something, go ahead and raise your hand and let us know. Well, but boo. tonight is kind of a special night. Uh, so I don't know if you know this, but this weekend, the big comic book con is down at McCormick Place. It's called C2E2. And frankly, we went down there last night. I'm not driving down there today. Uh, that's enough. So we created our own. We called it B2C2, Blue Box Comic Con. Uh, so I didn't say it was funny. I said it's a thing. Uh, so tonight, after This Week in Geek, we have, if everybody shows up, we have a bunch of really interesting guests. We're not doing our normal shows. We're going to be interviewing and talking to people that are from the, we'll say the con world. We have a uh, video game blogger. We have somebody from a Walking Dead documentary. We have a toy collector. This guy's Star Wars toy collection is serious. It's serious stuff. And uh, we also have uh, a guy who writes web comics about Dungeons and Dragons. Let's get real specific with the audience there. So it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, but I think we're ready. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to point out. Coming up in a couple of weeks, it's May 2nd, I believe. Is it May 2nd? Uh, that first. Is Free Comic Book Day? Oh, uh, Free Comic Book Day. Whatever that Saturday is. Okay, May 2nd is free comic book day. Go to your local comic book stores, get some free comics. They really are giving you comics for free. And when you're there, buy something to encourage the shop, too. That's an important part of it. And I wanted to highlight a couple of them. Uh, since we're here in Elgin, I've had a lot of people say there was a place called Modern Age Comics. Anyone remember that place? Nobody. All right, well, then it's new to you. Uh, they moved. They moved to Algonquin. They're at 2210 East Algonquin Road. But they're also opening a second location now in Crystal Lake on free comic book day. So go in and get those free comics from them. Uh, and that one will be at 5150 Northwest Highway Suite 6 in Crystal Lake. And we were supposed to have two guys tonight. They couldn't make it. They had a, 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 a something. Um that own a comic book store in Crystal Lake called My Happy Place. And it's another brand new comic book store. Uh, we wanted to, they were going to be on, we were going to chat up about comics and about the, that industry and everything. They couldn't make it, unfortunately. We'll have them another time. But go to their shop and get some free comics too. It's 19 East Berkshire Drive. It's called My Happy Place Comics. Did I get it wrong? Sweet two. Are you from there? Oh, hey, man. Are you, are you on tonight or just visiting? Just visiting. All right. Well, it's an awesome shop. Do you want to tell us anything about it? Is it? Uh... Okay. Cool. Do you know the other place, Modern? You know what? You're going to be friends with those guys. Make friends. Cool. Cool. Yeah, he said they were doing gaming. He was talking to me tonight about it. So, Excellent. Well, there you go. So definitely go to My Happy Place and uh, check out Modern Age and give them your money and give them your time. Hey, a little. All right, so we're going to start our show. Uh, let's introduce ourselves on the end here. Uh, my name is a little I, I wasn't going to have you go first. But go ahead. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, and we have Edward Lee. And I'm Rob Southgate. Okay, let's jump into this thing. All that business is out of the way. Uh, so the very first thing I want to talk about uh, before we get into our experience from this weekend is Frank Miller, who did... Wait, wait, wait. That's the first thing? I want to start with that. You got something else? Yeah, we should talk about the Joker pick. Oh, yes. Frank Miller. <laughs> no, go ahead. You want to talk about the Joker pick? Let's no, talk that's, about the that's Joker. fine. Go ahead, no, Frank no, no, Miller. No, no, no. Frank Miller is coming back to do Batman. Dark you know what? You know why I wasn't going to talk about that right up front? Because there's not much to say. It's a picture of the Joker. So this week, a picture of Jared Leto as the Joker was released. They've been teasing it. He's been putting snaps of his green hair and... Here's an official picture. He's got weird tattoos and a grill. I'm, I don't know. Are you, like, thinking this is the best Joker thing you've ever seen? No, I absolutely hate it. 
Yeah, I'm, I think it's terrible. I mean, I understand what they're so going for. So you want to start with negativity, Mr. Of course. I'm, I'm an always internet troll. Negative. I want to be angry at everything. Well, besides, I like it. I think it's a nice tune that they haven't used before. Can we have a cage before. match between you two? I know sure. who's going to win that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to move for that. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, you know what, I, I, I like the classic look of the Joker. I like where they were initially going with Leto, and then I think it was all the tattoos and everything and the grill yeah. that kind of got away from it. I, I know in the comics now some some versions of the Joker have tattoos. He's got this big dragon right, right, on right. his back and everything. But it just seems like it's it's too much. You know what, It it I agree, man. It seems to me, I think it was the grill where I'm like, you know what, if they want to do something like that, Add that in the next movie. Have him go face crazy. Tattoos. But the, the tattoos, I don't know, man. That's a, they got to live with this look for a while. Yeah. That's a tough one. The tattoos, all right, we're not, hopefully we're not going to see him with his shirt off a lot. Oh, yeah, no. But, you know, unless it's Magic Mike, man. Uh, and, Magic uh, Mike Joker. Yeah, right. Ben Affleck in Magic Mike Batman. Magic Mike Arkham Asylum. That's what uh, it'll be called. I like it. Uh, but the, uh, the grill, I don't know. That's, it's a long time to live with it. What do you think, Edward? You like it? I, I like it except for the grill. I okay. Mean, they could leave that out, but yeah, I, I like the overall look. Yes. Now, do you think that that grill is going to be removable and they're going to do one of these, you know, like they show it in the picture, he'll pop it in, he'll pop it out? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, no, they won't. So he's just going to have it. I mean, my guess is the, the story uh, yeah. behind all this is it's going to be all this was done while he was in prison. Okay. okay. So. All right. That, that could make sense. Well, those sense. are quite I do impressive like the, prison tattoos. I do yes. like the touch of the purple, like the purple glove that he's got yeah. on. The purple, yeah, right. Like the, With the green hair and the purple yeah. glove. Yeah. And he looks insane. I, I, you know, I, 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 the Joker's an interesting character. I think it's going to be interesting. But everything so far with this I haven't been super excited by. Agreed. All right. So Frank Miller, thank you. Something, and this is a, watch. I'm going to be a big troll here too. Uh, so Frank Miller, who did the Dark Knight Returns, which is arguably one of the greatest graphic novels of all time, or at least it's a yeah. great entry point for many people. You're saying eh, I love it. Anyone else love the Dark Knight Returns, or am I crazy on this one? One. Well, two. You're also crazy. Yeah. I, I don't know. Why my happy place guys do. I don't want to say that it was my the happy greatest. Place too, man. There's huh? a lot of stories out there, and for Frank Miller to get that top billing. Well, no, okay. I don't know. But here's why I wanted to bring it up. Because when I was reading about it today, the article made a point about The Dark Knight Strikes Back, which was the second one. I thought that one stunk on ice. I did not care for that sequel at all. So I, no one ever talks about it, though. Like, everyone talks about Dark Knight Returns, and I've heard people say, like, oh, yeah, and the second one, and the trilogy's coming. And I'm like, but that was so bad. I didn't the really come out, like, in 20, 2001? No. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. It's been a while. I know. It's been a while, but it hasn't been as long, because the Dark Knight Returns came out in, God, it was, it was I was in college. 80s. That was my freshman year. It was 87. Edward wasn't born yet. No. Nope. He had to sign a waiver to go in a, a haunted house. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> way to throw him under the bus. You know what? We're going to share the picture of you crying in there. Sure. Um, um, was not crying. So, okay, it's called the Dark Knight Master Race. Are you guys? Do you are you guys excited about it? Do you care? I I'm actually excited, even though I think it's I'm nervous that it's going to be terrible. I mean, I like everything, so I'm you know I'm going to get it. You know I'm going to like it, and then five minutes later I'm going to go, yeah, that wasn't so good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too excited for it. Okay. Anyone me. out here excited for it? <laughs> Nobody's listening. <laughs> Everybody's eating. Nobody. Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. We're well, just no starting now. Listens. The Dark Knight, the third book in the series. Scott is. They're not. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to throw one more out then. The Rogue One trailer that leaked. Did you guys see it? No. Yes. No. Okay. It leaked and it got taken down right away. So you had to... Look quick. Uh, Alil, what'd you think? I liked it. I, I wasn't blown away by it as I was well, the it, it's not original episode footage. seven. Right. I mean, but I like, I like where they're going with it. I, I, I do, too. I like that it's, it's a bridge movie. Kind of why I like Star Wars Rebels, the animated show on Disney XD. I like the bridge concept because I want to forget about the 
prequel trilogy and I want to work more in this universe right, right. that we've grown up in. And uh, I, 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 th- I thought it was cool. Why I, so I want to see more. Of why, why you so hated me? Yeah, yeah. Jar Jar. Because yes. everyone hates. Oh, you. speaking of you, that. are the Jar Jar of the show. So I it's am. perfect. I'm the most hated. Um, I, well, let me point something out about that, though. So this weekend we went. To, there's going to be a lot of references to that. We went to C2E2 uh, yesterday. All three of us were there. Yes. And yes. we talked to Paul, and I can't remember his last name, but he writes a book called The Wobbit which is a parody of The Hobbit, and it is really good. Paul Erickson, I think his name is. Well, he told me yesterday, and we'll talk about this more in the future, but he is now has now written a Star Wars one called Jar Jar, Jar Wars. Wars, and it looked really funny. So there you go. Check out his stuff. If you, if you are at a con, you want to check out The Wobbit, and if you go down that Wobbit hole, you will find Jar Jar Wars. So there. I just thought of that. That wasn't a commercial, not a paid endorsement. I think it was. I want. <laughs> I want to cut. Um, I'll cut you. <laughs> All right. What do you got? Go ahead, Edward. Oh, well, um, so I liked it. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> so there's a rumor going out that Bleeding Coal has heard. It's that Doctor Strange will be introduced on Netflix Iron Fist series before his first movie. Yeah, I've I've heard the same thing. Um, I mean, I I think it's per- perfectly reasonable. Yeah, they they could debut. Why, it as why a, wouldn't they? Yeah, there, there's there's a connectivity in both those uh, both those characters uh, with the mysticism and everything, so it fits yeah, and it would make mystic. sense. Well, it, it'll also give you an introduction, so we don't have to go through an origin story, maybe in the movie, or if we do have a little bit of origin, we won't feel like get to the story because we've already got some of the meat going. Right. Um, you know, or, or they just to pass- add to that, uh, they announced this week that Daredevil, the, the second season of Daredevil, is going to happen. Yes. And one of the things I read is they are really considering Punisher in that. Well, it's not that they're considering it. Charlie Cox wants the Punisher. Okay, they're, they're considering it because he wouldn't have said that if they weren't considering it. No, they were just asking him what, his, what he wants going forward. I to say see. mark my words oh, that man, he's going to go. be go. in it. And I'm going to get my dream of Lucy Lawless and the Punisher in one movie. Well, in that movie, <laughs> in that a- atmosphere of the Terrible. Of Have the you even watched episodes. that? Are you even old enough to watch the Daredevil on Netflix? Yes. His mom's out of I town. Say that. <laughs> mom's not here. <laughs> I mean, as a perfect atmosphere for the Punisher. Yeah, I think Dark. it's great. I think it's great. And it's a good way because... Eventually, they're going to reboot The Punisher and make a movie with The Punisher. Eventually. No, they won't. They're, yes, they're, they will. They're going to do this with The Punisher, what they're doing with Netflix. Mark my words. You are wrong because they are not. I want them to do a 12-hour Punisher movie on Netflix. That, well, that's, that's what, what it's going to be. It's going to be a 12-hour series. They're not going to make a movie because they've already seen the box office of The Could, Punisher. That's what it's not do. worth it for we them to invest in that. We called this on Enough Said. We, we did. called this on Enough Said. If they put Punisher in season two of Daredevil, then phase two of the Netflix Marvel stuff I, I mark my words, Punisher is one of them. I, I think it should be Punisher. I yeah. think Ghost Rider would be perfect for yes. that. And I also think Blade would be perfect for that. Squirrel Girl. They've, they've already no, the not Micronauts Squirrel and Girl. Alpha Squirrel Flight. Squirrel Girl. Oh, no, Alpha, Alpha Flight yes. is owned by Fox. Yes. Yes. Alpha Flight. Owned yes, by Fox. None yep. of no the Alpha other. Flight. With the Sasquatch. <laughs> you you yep. keep Alpha Fox, but. N- Al- Alpha Fox? Yeah, what, what is Who's it? Alpha Fox? <laughs> I have no idea. Alpha Force. What movie do you want? But also. Also, Charlie Cox, they've, they've, they've announced, which we kind of already knew, but his contract with Marvel um, is also open for movies. But yeah, and he's been talking obvious. about um, how he wants to really have a role in Civil War because Daredevil had he's a an role, but he had a background role. You know, right, he wasn't fighting people because he even said it. Daredevil couldn't keep up with these superhuman people, no. right. but he could do that background stuff like he did in Civil War. Which well, I, think I mean, think great. about it. They're, they're going to have the Defenders – come out too. They're, they're, these characters are going to bleed in. Even if they're yeah. background characters, yeah. they're going to be there. Even Agreed. if they're just a window cleaner is cleaning the window and you see Daredevil through it, oh no, that's Spider-Man. That's see? not true. Yeah, I know it's not true. <laughs> I fell for it. I still fall for it. I think it was shot. I think that they decided not to use it and that's why they pulled it. I think that's why Joss Whedon made the announcement that there is nothing at the end because they decided that didn't Fit exactly with what they wanted to do. I think that was real. Well, I think that I think because it, it looked more like a joke, like how they did with Guardians of the Galaxy right. with Howard and the I Duck. Think they pulled it, and you know, there, there's leaked. no exactly, there's no Howard the Duck coming anytime right. soon. Yes. But Spider Man is George Lucas last week. It, they will eventually. Well, eventually, eventually. All right. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, okay, we keep talking about Independence Day 2. Anybody excited for this? No. I hear crickets out I'm there. I'm not. Uh, well, now they've announced Bill Pullman and Judd Hirsch are going to be in Independence Day 2. Uh, okay. okay. And, Alil, you weren't here for the last one that we talked about it with, but Randy Qua- No, not Randy Quaid. He's definitely not coming back. Uh, who is the <laughs> other one? He flew into the ship. Uh, who what? is the one that we said isn't going to be back? And- isn't the general? Oh, Brent Spiner is back. Oh, that's it. right. I don't understand yes. how yep. that's possible. He's he dead. Died. He died too. Right. What? He's in it. I, I know. It, I saw that they brought you know, him back. Maybe I'm they'll like, do one of those stupid. things like in Scream 2. They'll put in, pop in a videotape because, you know, the alien ships have video machines because they had Apple products in the last one. They'll have videotape and they'll, nobody oh, laughed at that one. I, It wasn't funny, but I was amused. Uh, they'll put in their videotape and it'll be just like Randy in Scream 2 and it'll be Brent Spiner saying, you know, well, that was actually yeah. Scream oh, there's 3. aliens. You got to be careful. In every sequel to an alien movie, this is what happens. Scream 3. Aliens. Scream 2 it happened in. Scream 3. He was in Scream 3. He, he died in Scream 2. He died two. in 2? Yeah, so Scream 3. When they were in Hollywood, oh, his sister came. Oh, right. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, that's right. He died in the... Uh, in the Spoiler. Yeah, spoiler for Scream 2. <laughs> he died in Scream 2. In the, yes. in the In the college. In the... In the right, in the, in in the, the van. corner area, yeah. He lived in a van by the college. Yeah, okay. Did you see the trailer for Scream, the TV show? I have not. I... Don't even Did want to see it? Don't watch ask it. me. I don't know what it is. You know what? It's it's all at once terrible and wonderful. Uh, it's going to be bad, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. That's what I'm going to say about it. It looks really terrible, but at the same time, it looks like terrible good. The first one was so good. Martha, that you in with me? You going to watch it? She's ignoring me like usual. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that is your marriage. So. Right. Um, oh. Furious Eight. Yeah. Fast and oh, Furious yes. Eight. It's did you guys see seven? Yeah, of course. I did. Was it good? Um, um, yes. Not as good as the last one. Six. Oh, it was better than six. It no, wasn't as good as five. Out there? The music for six was really good. I don't care about the music. The, the movie was better. But I like the movie. The movie no. and the music. Furious yeah. seven was better than six, but not better than five. Um, or fast five. Okay. Fast five. I've never seen any of them, so I can't debate this. Well, they made it perfect. But I don't care if there's an eight. Is the rock in the eight? Yes. They, don't, they haven't really. Did they officially it, announce it? They he, said that they're going to bring no. the whole cast back. They're going to try to bring the Except cast back. Not, for, not the whole cast. Well, too soon. All right. Yeah. Too soon. <laughs> no. Well, a year, a year and a half later. In, yeah. in Furious Seven, they made a perfect, uh, perfect job of what's his name. What? Uh, uh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Well, he's dead. Yes, but in the Fast Furious Seven movie, they made a good job of keeping him out. Okay. They ended his... They ended his storyline. Yes. Correct. The, okay. the Brian O'Connor story is gone. Yes. I, okay. Yeah. We reviewed it on the League of Geeks, so that's why... Oh, I'm, yeah. That's why I haven't heard it. Okay. Half yeah. of the movie is gone. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it's um, because we're into cool stuff, and oh, you were yes, talking about you know, black and white movies. That's right. <laughs> I do. I do like that. Um, new trailer for Jurassic World hit. You guys like that? Uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, you I like did. That? I thought it was... I, th- awesome. I think it's. I think it's gonna be okay. I, the first trailer didn't sell me. This one b- was a bit better. Okay. I, anyone else into it? I'm way into it. I think I'm, it looks awesome. Oh, oh. Although I gotta say, the scene with the kids in the ball looks cool. But then in the second trailer, you see the dinosaur attacking the ball, and I was like, it's Oh, same thing that didn't just we happened. See this in the first one. If they bite, if that yeah. thing bites yes. a lawyer off a toilet, number one, I'm in. Number two, <laughs> it's the same thing they've done. Well, that's why the first trailer didn't sell me because the first trailer was the it was it was the same, the same movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm still in. I thought it was cool. It was fun to watch. Bryce yeah. Dallas Howard's in it. All right. <laughs> I know. All right, Bryce Dallas Howard. Who cares? <laughs> Tomorrowland uh, trailer. You see that one? Uh, I did. I think I did. Yes. No. Wait. I've seen half. No. Of it. I've seen the first half. Yeah. The. That uh, I stopped watching. The you stopped watching the Why Tomorrowland trailer? Why did you stop? Too scary? No. Was yeah. it like the Insidious thing? Did you have to, huh. did you have to turn it off? No, I just, it was, <laughs> it was an ad, so I'm like, eh, this is enough. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I thought it looked cool. I was, it was unexpected to me what was happening in that movie. I, I, you know, you saw that very first, anyone see the teaser? They, they showed the girl, she picked up the little thing, and then all of a sudden, she's in Tomorrowland, and then it's gone, and you're like, wow, what's that? I, I thought it looked cool. I thought it looked fun. So this, this trailer expands on it, and there's like this whole st- 
Dory yeah. going on and George Clooney and I thought it was George, cool. <laughs> story and George Clooney. Well, you know what? <laughs> He's so dreamy. I don't he care is, about the story. Man. Although he does look a little old now. He's getting a little long in the tooth. He ain't no Ryan Reynolds. But yeah. you still have the man crush. Yeah. He looks kind of like uh, Clint Eastwood now. <laughs> like 100 beef jerky. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's still awesome. He was he was Billy Ocean or uh, James Ocean. What's his name? <laughs> yeah. What's his Danny name? Ocean. Danny Ocean. Yeah. Danny Ocean. He was getting out of hey, his Brad, dreams get, and into get his out of car. my dreams and into my car. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's let's move on. Uh, Sony is doing an animated Spider-Man movie. Yeah, they are. Oh. And and it's Phil Lord and uh, yeah, the guys who Chris did the Miller. Lego Movie. Yeah, so. they they seem to be okay. doing everything. It's either them or Chris Pratt involved in every single movie coming out for the next. Like four years. Well, because the Lego movie made a ton of money. Yeah. Yes. And so did Guardians. And, and, so that's why yeah, we see and, these guys. And so did uh, whatever uh, the Are you 21 Jump over there? 21 Jump Street they also did. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Right. Well, I, you know what? I, I think it's great. I mean, now it's, they said it's not tying into the MCU. It's going to be... It's going to be a, like a solo story. It's going to be the same it, character it, from the MCU. Yeah, but it's, it's the, just the same character, be a, but it's not going to have an effect okay. on the MCU. Right, right. I'm fine with that. Yeah, so if he dies in it, he's not dying in it. Spoiler, he's not going to die in it. Yeah, Spider-Man's probably not going to die. No. Spoiler. But Spider-Gwen. <laughs> what was it? But Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen. Yeah, maybe they'll, maybe they'll do Spider-Gwen in that. No, you know what? If you're going to do Spider-Gwen and Silk and all that, you've got to do it live action because that would be awesome. Yeah, they're, they're, they're way too But they could have Spider-Ham in it. That would be awesome. They're, nice. they're not doing and that. Thor Frog. I'm all about it. It's all awesome. Uh, uh, They're not uh, going to do it. They just did that on the Disney XD show. No, no, but really? this is a movie. Yeah, they did the uh, Spider. They did a version of Spider Verse, and Spider Man right. went to all the different worlds. But this is different, and this is these guys writing it. You know, it's, there's going to be like a Lego Frog Thor in it, but it's not Lego. Yeah, but it's going to be Lego. All right, <laughs> don't argue okay. with me. I'm not arguing with you. Okay, <laughs> so I have one a trailer for the Star Wars Battlefront. Yes. The new Star Wars Battlefront. I didn't see it was really this. Was good. It cool? oh, yes. It was amazing because I it have was to... all all of it was in the engine, the game engine. It okay. was all shot in the game engine and it looks amazing. Yes, I am buying a next gen console now because of this. I really? I'm tempted to do that because I, I have to figure out which one, but I'm buying a next gen console for Star Wars Battlefront and I'm I I have all the prior consoles. I just haven't because I don't play games a lot anymore. Right. Okay. Too busy podcasting, um, Hollywood. I, have, I know. Jeez. Um, it's my fault. <laughs> it partially is. Uh, yes. But this game is so good, and it seems so, like, so next level, like what these next generation consoles were made for. All right. Like, this game is that perfect. Like, it, if, if, it, if that trailer, if you guys haven't seen this trailer, look up the Star Wars Battlefront trailer. It is phenomenal. If you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to go crazy. If you're a video game fan, you're going to go crazy. Well, if you're anybody, you're going to go crazy. If you're no, anybody. Yes. The only part I don't and like. And if you don't go crazy, you are crazy. Yes. yes. Bam. The only part I don't like about it is they only show Darth Vader. They didn't show any other. Well, of course, because Darth Vader is going to be the big selling point. Yeah. They also showed him in the uh, Rebels I Season was... 2 yes, trailer, he's... and that looked cool. And he Rebels, will be voiced so. yeah. by James Earl Jones. Really? Yep. Coming back to do the voice. Really? And he's now, the big bad the rumor, Do you think he's going to show up in Star Wars in Episode 7? No. I there is a ru- there are a few rumors going around that that he is in it that they had an actor in the costume in in flashback set. scenes. I don't know. I don't know. He was burned alive. Well, not alive. He was are we going to get it? Are burned. we going to get into the Agents of Shield? He was burned here? dead. <laughs> the, he was in a funeral pyre, right? Yes. Yes. Luke burned him up. Yep. And it turned green like his lightsaber. It's awesomeness. I. I if, if Vader comes back, I don't. I don't know if I'll, if I'll be okay. No, with No, you know what? They showed his mask. It was all crunched up and burned. Uh, the only way they could do it is if they do like they brought his clone back. But then why not do the Clone Wars thing from uh, from uh, Marvel Comics or Dark Horse? Remember Dark, that one? Dark Horse, when, yeah. Yeah, where they, but it was the Emperor's clone that came back. Okay, we're getting nerdy here. Wait, um, I have something uh, that keeps on the battlefront. That in Battlefront there was going to be a mission tie-in to Episode Seven. So well, of course, you, you play the game. You got to get the console and play the game to have the full experience. Correct. Of course. But in the trailer for the movie, you know how he said the ship crashed on Tatooine. Yeah. It's not. 
It is Jakku, the planet Jakku. Oh, that planet yes. we saw. Yeah, that oh. wasn't Tatooine. It wasn't Tatooine. Oh, so there's another desert planet because yes. every planet in the Star Wars universe has to be one thing. It's one <laughs> ecosystem on every planet in Star Wars. It's the ice planet. It's the green planet. It's the, lava the desert planet. planet. The and blown up planet. There's a planet. Yeah, every one of them. And if they're building a machine, we're building another Death Star. <laughs> This will be Death Star no. 7. If they what? do that, I will not be happy either. Yeah. They, no, they, Death Star 7 is not going to be cool. But Rogue One is about that. It's about them stealing Star, the plans for yeah. Death Star. That's cool. Um, okay. Anyone read the Archie comics? <laughs> I used to when I was okay. a kid. I'm going to turn off my mic now. Well, no, the Archie <laughs> comics have gotten very strange. I, I think they're... I thought yeah, I read Zombie the Archie and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, all really? that stuff. And, and I've yeah. heard they're really good. Uh, you guys at the comic store, you guys read these Archie comics at all? No? Well, you're going to want to read second. this they, one. They, they have a comic store and, and you don't read Archie? Come on. No. You're going to want to read this one because it's Archie versus Sharknado. See? See? Really? Everybody no, in here just no. pulled out their wallet and put it on the table. I'm dropping the mic and leaving. Archie versus Sharktopus. <laughs> no, it's, it is really yes. Archie yeah. versus Sharknado. Oh and it comes out in July. And if you look... Online, I you thought can there see was the Archie cover. versus the Predator. It is Archie and Jughead Probably. and Veronica Probably. all in a cyclone with sharks. Five stars right there. Five sharktopi. Well played. And you got the correct tense on that. Uh, can I you do it in Sharktopuses. Spanish? You're Spanish, right? Can you do it in Spanish? Yes. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, you're Spa- wait, you're no, Spanish. No, I'm not no, wait, Spanish. Did you say you're Spanish? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... Sci-Fi Channel. Now, whenever you read these things, you don't know if it's really going to happen or not. But they have uh, they are developing a pilot for People Under the Stairs as a movie as a TV series. It's what? a movie that was already done. Yeah, it was a movie. I <laughs> like so the movie quite Potter? a bit, but that was forty years ago. <laughs> it had a Ronald Reagan ago. joke that nobody's going to get now, and they're making 40 a years series ago. out of it. God. When was it? How old were we? No, thirty 80, years ago. Eighty-seven. 88. 89. Was it 89? <laughs> you were getting there. All right. Well, you hey. know what? We were, we, were, we were dating then. That tells you how old it was because we're old. Uh, yeah, it's an older movie. Well, you know what? Is anyone excited for this? I, I'm excited for everything. So, as you know. Yeah, no kidding. How are they making that a TV series? I mean, so there's – is it going to be like this – well, I was thinking it was the Secret World of Arietti, only horror, because like they live under there, and you open it, and oh no, there's monsters. Um, and are they going to do the Ronald Reagan joke again? Actually, it was ninety one. Yes, ninety one. Oh, you know what? You just lost trivia fifty points away from that guy. Uh, I was closer than the. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. I'm just saying that. That's I, why I host because the I couldn't game remember show. it exactly. And I'm like, it couldn't because. Yeah. Okay. Well, I remember watching it as a kid. Another TV show announced, get ready to actually be happy, potentially Galaxy Quest as a TV show. Yes! See? See? Galaxy Quest would work, I think, if it's actually funny. If it's it, terrible, it's not going to work at all. That can is, be said for anything, is right? Is Tim Allen coming back for it? I don't know. See, if, if it's Tim Allen doing it, I, I will accept it. I will accept it. If it's not, then I don't know what I would. I will accept know. it. I will accept it. But <laughs> and Alan Rickman has to come back for it as well. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. But, but you the, know what? If they recast properly, <laughs> because then he's got to have the the makeup on at all times. Because I love that in that movie, he's at home talking to Sigourney with Weaver, the makeup. He still has the, the the headpiece on. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> great um, stuff. Yeah, I, lightning and rich. I'm up for that. I think that sounds cool. What do you got there? You're about to say something. Uh, I, okay. I have one. Uh, I didn't know this, but Pirates of the Caribbean, there will be a seventh movie. Dead seventh? Yeah. They've only done four. Oh, never mind. Fifth then. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they... Dead uh, man tell sure. no tales. Yes, dead you man thought I had tales. time all screwed up. <laughs> so, yeah, man. They uh, the, released a picture. Yes. So... I don't know. I didn't see the last one. I liked the first two. I think I'd like the, the fourth one. The third one was terrible. I liked the fourth one. I didn't think I it was like that bad. Did you? I like so them. I, I'll watch the fourth one. You I'll know, watch the fifth one. You, if, if you look at it in, in comparative to like a lot of the other direct that's been put out, it's, 
it's a de- decent movie. Uh, it got a lot of hate, and it probably shouldn't have. Four did? Four did. Did people like four, or did they hate it? I like pretty much. Uh, I, I like four. Okay, so kind of indifference. How about Annie? Did anybody see Annie? You watched, you watched it, today? it today? Did you like it? But you didn't see you didn't okay. see the R-rated version though. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or did he? So okay, well, so this it doesn't excite you, but yeah, that was the only it. one that was written well. It was the first one. Yeah, the first one after is that, really it great. Started churning the wheel. The second one was fun to watch, but it's not well written. The first one is really well done. The yes. third one is visually stunning and garbage. Yeah, we, I agree with that. So, uh, okay, or as long as we're talking Mitch that, a uh, couple okay. quick ones. Mitch Pileggi is back on X-Files. That was announced this week. They've said the Smoking Man is going to be back. I don't know how. They blew him up. Uh, maybe he's just, you know, cinders, but all right. Well, just like but now, uh, Brett Spider coming back in uh, Independence Day. So yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, so we've got uh, we've got Mitch Pileggi back. We've got Agent Skinner, which I'm all about. I love Skinny, man. He was I awesome. I did, too. I, th- I thought he was uh, a a really good character in the show. I love how when he'd get angry, he'd do that thing with his jaw, kind of kick his jaw out. That was always cool. He's a cool guy. I'm with you. I, yep. No Everyone's trying to do it. You want to be cool? Nope. I do not want to be. Have you even seen the X-Files? I have not seen that. Do you expect me to see the X-Files? Yes. How old is it? How old is it? 30 years. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, wait. I got one. Oh, okay. Martha, you want to listen to this one? Disney, Disney is, we keep talking about these awful live-action remakes of all these Disney things. This one is not. They're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, didn't we just have Jack and the Giant Killer, right? Yes. But wait, but wait. You, okay, so you're not excited about it yet, but wait. But I am excited for it. Vince Gilligan wrote it. Vince Gilligan, <laughs> the guy who wrote, who wrote and show ran Breaking Bad, he wrote Jack and the Beanstalk. There's going to be blue crack in it. There's going to be... It's gonna Jack be is going to have a meth lab inside... The beanstalk. I'm so excited. Jack and the blue meth. He, That's he, what it's going to be called. He was trying to use the beans for meth, and it's going to be for adults on only. What? Oh, is that what they used to make the beans yes. grow? Blue no, meth no, no, makes no, the no. beans grow, and then no. everyone turns into Chinese. the Walking Dead because you know how they say that about the Walking Dead that it's tied into the blue meth. Am I right? Am I right, Daddy? Wait, who says Daddy? that for real? Who says she that? She and I did. <laughs> she and I. <laughs> it's it's an Easter egg hidden in it. And it's gonna it's gonna cause the beans. That's why we don't write. Well, I, I almost had a stroke. I got so excited about Vince Gilligan doing that. Woo! That's awesome. So that's awesome. I have one that's your favorite actor. So Tom Cruise is going to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise. Actually, you know what? Lived. Um, Live Die Repeat was amazing. It was it was a pretty good movie. Uh, I didn't see it. It was. Amazing. I'll watch it. So Tom Cruise uh, may star in a Disney comedy, Bob the Musical. All right. You would watch anything. Bob the Maybe not that. I didn't watch Annie. I'm but you will. I'm not watching that. Bob the Musical. Is it Wait, based no, on the no. Bob books no. about how kids learn how to read? All right, so a regular guy. Maybe they could... teach Tom Cruise how to read in this thing, and it's set to a musical. Oh, my gosh. And then he figures no. out science. No. Never mind. Right. No, the story of this is a regular it's guy. It's about a guy with no arms and no legs floating in the water. No. A reg- Bob the Musical. A regular oh, guy. Oh, did I get booed? Almost. Yes. Close. A regular the guy. The called Matt. A regular guy who the can suddenly. The trilogy called Art. Go ahead. He, a regular guy who can suddenly hear the inner of everyone's heart after a suffering suffering blow to the head. Okay, I'm so out. <laughs> um, all right, Daredevil. I'm not interested at Daredevil all. Daredevil the musical. He can start yes. hearing heartbeats. Oh, oh, I'd be into that. Turn out the lights. <laughs> Electra. Daredevil You've got to turn out the dark and then turn out the lights. Is the Daredevil one. And they, they keep getting injured because he's blind and he keeps falling over stuff in the theater and they didn't they keep moving stuff. It's horrible. They're so mean. He doesn't really have those powers. Uh, Attack on Titan trailer. Anybody watch that? Oh, nope. Yeah. It looks awful. Um, everyone I else think it looks did, awesome. Except for our Point, theory. counterpoint. You would watch it. I thought it was cool. Okay, I don't care. I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool as giant things That's and that. they were attacking a city and people, things were blowing up and... They were Japanese. It was like Godzilla meets big naked people. Rob just looks yes! bright eyes. Wait, is that what you're excited for? Five Godzilla beat <laughs> no, naked but, people. Uh, yeah, it's, that's it's, the sequel to Godzilla. Godzilla no, that's the meets sequel to naked Watchmen. People. There was a yes. big naked guy in that too. Uh, what was that? 
So you think it's a copy of that? I think so. I like Godzilla. All right. All right. Uh, we talked before about how Valiant, Valiant is a comic book line. They're like the last of the bigger ones that got a movie deal. They're making all these Valiant books into, into movies. They announced Bloodshot is coming in 2017. I think that's awesome. And the director is the guy that directed John Wick. I don't know who that is. So I didn't see John Wick. Did anyone see John Wick? Wait. Quietness? I think so. Everyone talks about how this movie is like fantastic. What's, what's John Wick? If you, if you enjoy Taken, The Equalizer, those kind of movies where oh, it's, it's like an that. older guy that is just like, yeah, it is like that. I have a particular set of skills, dude. Yes. Uh, no. I yes. Martha didn't hear my impression. Keanu that was doing a great Keanu impression. Keanu Boos. doing Norman Reedus. No, doing uh, Liam Neeson. I got Norman Reedus on the brain thanks to you. It's your fault over there. Um, all right. Uh, you got one? Oh, no. Here's, here's terrible news. Hey, everybody. I've got terrible news. Uh, They're listening to this show. The, there are three Robin Hood movies in development. Yes. Okay. It seems a little excessive. It's not. Warner Brothers announced they're making a fourth. Four Yay. Robin Hood movies in development right now, and one of them they're trying to build as a universe-building Robin Hood, which means just like with the Transformers that they also are officially making a universe. So there's, they're going to do like with Star Wars. They're going to have Transformers 4 or 5, what are they on? 5, and then like two standalones, and then six because, you know, the story arc is so good in those. They're going to do the same thing with Robin Hood. And then at the end, he fights big naked people, and suddenly he's got my money. Yep. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> You're not out. You'd love every bit unless of it's, Unless Robin it's a sequel to Robin Hood, Men in Tights, I'm out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all older, and the tights are just really tight. Oh. <laughs> Ew. You so. see everything. Oh. So. <laughs> so. so. Less than oh, one. even more than that. I have one. Oh, yeah. There oh. is... Uh, rumor that Justin Lin's Star Trek 3 will be titled Star Trek Beyond. Okay. Just a cool thing. Yeah. I mean, Because you don't know who Justin Lin is. He directed a lot of the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, I know. Movies. I actually know that. He directed from Tokyo Drift on. Yes, 3 to 6. I only know that because I read about stuff. I didn't see it. Stuff. But he's, I'm interested because I hear he's an interesting director. Uh, you know, I like the Star Trek movies, so I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Um, Adrian Palicki and Nick Blood. They've said that they are the ones headlining the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff show. So the I think the we one right. spinoff. Huh? Well, there's going to be the another one now. Two? Yeah, that's being written by... Uh, Shut up. What's the second one? It's a secret. No one's supposed to know yet. What's the second one? Uh, we do a Marvel podcast. How do I not know this? How so do you this not know this? Is one sword it was out last one, week. Is one sword... No, it's, it's, it's being written by... Um, no, the he's guy not... who did 12 Years a Slave. Yeah, that guy. He's yeah. writing a different one? He's writing a different one. Oh, I thought they were the same. No. Oh, my gosh. I can't get a job because I have got to watch these shows. Did you just see your wife's face when you said that? <laughs> Please donate because I can't work. I can't Holy. work because I need to watch television. <laughs> oh, they'll shut, shut your mouth. You know you're thinking the same thing, so... Um, wow, so there's two. Any idea about what the second one is? Any idea? <laughs> no, they're, they're keeping this one tight. Alpha Flight? I already told you, Fox owns that. They're, I don't care. No, It'd be awesome. It's not going to happen. What, what about the TV rights? Who owns the TV rights? I think Fox owns it all with all the mutants and all this stuff. They that's why they have the, they own Why's everything. They? That's, why that's, that's why there's no X-Men cartoon okay. on Disney. Mark my words, Marvel's going to get that stuff back at some point. They're going to have to pay a high price. Well, they're going to get it, and we'll be long dead, but at that point, <laughs> it'll say on my, my tombstone, mark my mark words. Mark my words. And they'll have to, I'm going to say, dig up a lil and shove it in his face. And that's what's going to happen, just so you know, in the afterlife. <laughs> Why am I dead first? <laughs> well, I said I'm dead too. We're both dead. Well, you know, come on, man. That's true. I saw how scared you were in that insidious thing. So we I went wasn't to. scared at all. We went to C2E2. We've mentioned this before. Uh, they have a thing called, in, for Insidious 3, they have the 4D experience, okay? So all three of us went. Only two of us survived. Uh, 
basically, it's they put the Oculus Rift. That's why I wanted to do it. You get to try the Oculus Rift. Do you know what that is? It's this like thing you put over your head, and it gives you like an immersive movie. It g- so you it sit gives in this chair, and stuff's happening around you, and you look around, and there's like stuff happening back here and stuff happening back here. It's really cool. Their 4D thing is they've added to it. They blow air on you. A guy touches you with a feather. Um, you they know. spit on you. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's raining. That <laughs> 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 was Edward crying. A little gave me a little hug at one point. I knew it was you. Uh, I didn't come in there. I creeped yeah. it on your chair. So it, I actually thought it was really cool. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's Insidious fans. I thought the first half of the first movie was really scary. The second half was not. The second movie I was all right with. I didn't love it. This looked good. What would you think, Alil? Um, Notice who I didn't go to who didn't make it. I, th- those movies don't scare me. Right. Um, yeah, but are they good? I mean, do you like they them? They were okay. They're okay. I, I don't, I don't, what I don't like about the, this new horror genre is... I'm going to scare you by throwing out an image of nothing that has to, anything to do with what's going on and make a really loud sound. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, they definitely did that even in this they thing. They did that Some in scares. this thing, which it's cool. This concept is really cool for, like, a haunted house. Yeah, it was, that like, actually a works, really you actually awesome go haunted through, house. You go through, you know, a hallway and stuff, and somebody jumps out at you. They blow, you know, air noises and all this stuff. And then you go into this room and they kind of set you up. They try and they put you in this room for a few minutes because I really think that they're trying to like yeah, they're trying to unnerve you. Unnerve you. Exactly. I got a question. When you were in your room, did the door keep opening on you? No, I think your door was broken. No, it was. Yeah. Okay, because the most unnerving thing of the whole thing is that you. There's a monitor and they're like setting you up. They're showing scary images and trying to scare you. And my door kept hitting me like somebody was trying to come in. That is unnerving. <laughs> I, I lean behind my door because I don't want nobody to <laughs> like, Is, is that what you're doing? Putting all your weight. And, and when I got in the room to sit down, the guy goes, did your door keep opening? I think it's a setup. Like he's going to go, oh, that doesn't happen. He goes, yeah, the door is broken, dude. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> so I had to ask if it really was because yeah. that was really unnerving. And then he put a feather on me. That was weird. <laughs> well, that wasn't – never mind. <laughs> no, but, it, it, you know, I like the concept. I, You know, they – they said that this movie is supposed to be scarier. You know, we'll see. I hope it is. I hope they give me a good movie. I've been waiting for a good horror movie for a long time. I think they've got a good premise. But I think, I think it's this, interesting. If they actually focused and made this like a real haunted house attraction thing, yeah, camera, oh, this awesome. would be great. Yeah. yeah. So because I like the I like the fact that I'm putting this the, the Oculus on and everywhere I look there is something going on. We will uh, for the show. We we uh, try to put videos of this super exciting three guys sitting up here talking uh but we'll try to put in they gave us trailers and they gave us like some of the experience in video clips we'll try and put that stuff in there or put it at the end so you guys can check it out if you want to okay. i thought it was cool and edward you didn't make it no that, I did that's not. all right we're busting on you but yeah. it was pretty scary especially for a 15 year old yeah. i mean nine nine year nine, old nine, nine, oh nine what old. a jerk <laughs> boo <laughs> Who, are we wrestling for villain of the show now? Sure. Yeah, all right. You win. My six-year-old daughter would have made it through. Oh. <laughs> that's that's yeah, because you showed the aliens when she was... Yeah. Four. Four. She's desensitized yes. at this point. That, that's because... She is, they know who all the horror icons no, no, are. That's you, because you a good, dressed up as Baymax and scared them. You read her Goodnight Leatherface when she was two, right? Of course. Yeah, okay. No laughs at that one. I thought that was actually kind of funny. Uh, okay, well, I'm the one. Yes. Uh, okay, we're almost done. Um, you got one? Yes, uh, the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice trailer. Have you seen it? The yes. Trailer. Wait, You've seen it. Don't you're have talking to ask. that second one? Yes. Or that one, the trailer came out yeah. last week? Yeah, yawn. Did, we not, Wait, did you guys not talk about it last week? Th- I think the, we did. I think he's the, just excited. This wasn't the teaser. It was the no, this is the full trailer. Yes. Yeah, that's the I don't trailer. think we talked about that. We yeah, talked we did. About we talked about how it was, it did, it was meh. Well, no, what we talked no, about is it yeah. leaked. We, we watched we, the leaked version, t- and the official oh, HD one okay. came out last Saturday. Right. Um, but it was the same thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not excited about this. I, I wish I was. I get excited about everything, as you can tell. Uh, but this one, I, I don't know. Something is not well, connecting. And, and they had the additional – there was an additional scene – 
Because what happened was because of this this leak, um, you they know, Warner Brothers something? Warner Brothers did that thing that they did with Guardians, where you can go and see it. You'll get a ticket. Yeah, you get the you can see an IMAX. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they added a scene, and that the only part of that scene. Spoiler alert! If you don't want to know, and people who are here, sorry, plug your ears. Um, it's just Batman and Superman running at each other. Like after that, do you bleed? You will. Well, and then I mean, you see you them running at each other, and then it cuts. And I'm like. That's lame. Did anybody not see that was going to happen? Yeah, I mean, I, everyone was expecting that. And then Wonder Woman's going to crash in the middle and stop them, and it's... I doubt that. I don't think she's going to stop Okay, them. well, I hope so, because then at least it's something different. Uh, terrible. I'm just not up. Wait a um, Do we talk about Robin Hood? Yeah. <laughs> I could tell everyone was thrilled by it. Um, I had a couple more quick things. Uh, Dominic Cooper officially... It is Jesse Custer and Preacher. Preacher. That's official now. We've talked about it before. I am super excited. I'm all over that show. It's going to be on AMC. It's going to be awesome. And there's a vampire in it and a chick named Tulip. All good. Uh, Scarlet Witch confirmed for Civil War. No surprise there. Surprise, she's not going to die in Age of Ultron. Uh, and let's see. I know who is. You know who's going to die? Uh-oh. Don't say it. Don't, Don't spoil. I'm not saying it. I'm just is it not Spider-Man? happy about my about our followers in in the UK who Jerks. spoiled it. <laughs> Jerks. Oh, really? That's yes. why I don't have any contact with the UK. Uh, yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> um, okay, couple things today. I had the honor of going to a movie premiere, and we'll talk about this more later. But I got to go to see a documentary called The Walkers Among Us. And it is a, yes, it's a documentary about the fans of The Walking Dead. Can you tell there's one in the room? Right, right, but there's one that's in the movie, in the room. Uh, I just wanted to point this out. If, if you like The Walking Dead or if you just like fandom, seek this out. Uh, right now you can only get it at their website. It's uh, thewalkersamongus.com. I loved the documentary. They also did two about Star Wars that are really great. I mean, I just I can't say yeah. enough good things. So I wanted to highlight this because it was super good. I'm upset I missed it. I know we planned on going to it today, and things just happened that I had to go back to C2E2. And I'm, uh, it was a waste of my time because I spent two hours, three hours in the car. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you missed out because this was really I did. great. Was it great? Did you guys love it? You loved it? Oh, yeah. It was really great. Um, Just a really wonderful documentary, and it was safe for kids. Uh, I thought, you know, being The Walking Dead, you never know, but you really didn't have any. The zombie stuff was so peripheral, and there wasn't gore. And some of the movie was shot right on this corner when they do the uh, Nightmare on Chicago Street. They destroy this place. They make it look like there's been a zombie apocalypse. It is amazing. I mean, amazing. For uh, like three blocks, it's like a, you're on the set of a great zombie movie. And out here on the corner, they had like a police car and a, I don't know, Toyota crashed into each other. And like the light pole was down. It was nuts. And in the movie, you see that shot. And I could tell it was shot from right here because it was shooting across to Rediscover Records there. So just really cool. Uh, really, really cool. It's called The Walkers Among Us. And Very cool. I, I think I had one more thing to highlight. I do. We have a super fan in the house. Uh, and, you know, we have a few of those. Super that, fan. That Somebody appear. actually listens? Yes. Wait, people listen? Jenny, who anyone that comes to Blue Box knows Jenny because she's always here cheering us on. It's Jenny's birthday today. So if we could wish Jenny happy a birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. So, and I want to point Wait, out. a little has to sing. No, no I'm not, I'm not, not singing. We're not licensed to sing that song. Sing something different. Um, but last thing, she showed us a picture of her birthday cake, which, if you want to see it, she'll be happy to show you. It has a TARDIS coming out of the cake. It is really cool, and it's by a place called Piece of Cake Bakery in Dundee. I just wanted to plug them, too, because I thought it was so cool. Uh, I think I'm done. I'm done with all my plugs. I'm oh, Funko Hulkbuster. Did you see that picture? Yeah, it's at my doorstep right now. Shut up. You got one? Yeah, because I bought Did the... Did you get uh, two? Because you like me? Because <laughs> we're uh, friends. No. BFFs? 
No, I got the uh, you got it. You're going to cut it in half, put a B, F on one side, and an F on the other? <laughs> yes. Thanks, Alil. And we'll wear it around our necks. That's right. No, I, I, I haven't seen it yet. My wife told me the package came in because I'm part of the Funko Collectors Club. And that is the... I am a nerd. I don't care. I'm a geek. Yeah. No, that's um, awesome. You know what? I, I If you didn't see it, check it out. It's the, the Funko puts out those great pop vinyls. There's a Hulkbuster, and it's really cool. It's huge, too, isn't it? Six I mean, inches. Like six inches? Mm-hmm. It's the same size as like like the Wampa. I like to tell everybody that's huge. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, it looked really good. It's I terrible. thought it was cool. So are we done? You We're done. Else? All right, that's it. Thank you for listening to This Week in Geek, everybody. Uh, we will be back with more B2, C2. We've got some special guests. I see three of them already in the house. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you.